Hi, in this uh, tutorial I will give an overview of how you can use Scrum with Azure DevOps. So here you see the contents of this uh, tutorial. First, a short introduction, what is Azure DevOps, what is Scrum. Then uh, we will get started with uh, the Azure DevOps. We will show how we can create an account, create a project and add members to the Azure DevOps. So we are ready to use Azure DevOps. Then we will see how we can use uh, Scrum uh, within uh, Azure DevOps. We will uh, use work items. We will see how we can create and use a product backlog and create product backlog items, features. And then we will start working with the sprints in Azure DevOps. So we will uh, create a sprint and use the task board in Azure DevOps. So uh, what is Azure DevOps? Azure DevOps is a tool or a platform for software engineering. In th with this tool, you can do planning, collaboration, source code control, bug tracking, Agile and Scrum, etc. This platform or this tool is uh, developed by Microsoft. You can start to use it for free. So you can use it for free uh, for five developers plus uh, unlimited number of stakeholders. If you are more than five de developers, you need to pay a monthly cost. You can get access to this tool from this uh, location. Um, typically, you use this tool in your web browser, but you can also integrate it with the Visual Studio for source uh, code control and uh, Git. So, uh, in this tutorial, we will see how we can use a Scrum within this uh, tool, uh, Azure DevOps. So, let's start with an introduction to Scrum. Um, so, the traditional way to organize and work in a project is a so called uh, waterfall method, or in general, uh, plan driven methods, while Agile is a newer and more flexible way to organize and run a project today. Um, Scrum is uh, one of the most popular Agile methods today. And Azure DevOps has uh, built-in uh, functionality and features for working in Scrum in your uh, development project. So in this uh, sketch, you see an overview of the different uh, parts of Scrum. So here, the um, main part is the development team. That is the actual developers that are de developing uh, the product or software uh, in question. Then you have the product owner, typically a person that is part of the customer company that keep track of the project in general. And then you have the Scrum Master. The Scrum Master is part of the development team, uh, typically. And uh, the Scrum Master is some kind of a informal uh, project manager of the development, uh, development uh, team. Um, then you have different stakeholders. Typically, these are persons that has some interests in the product that you are creating. It could be customers, um, stakeholders, uh, other types of stakeholders. And then we have the product backlog. Basically, the product backlog is a list of all the requirements that should be made in this uh, software. And then, when the project starts, the team starts to work in so-called um, sprints. A sprint could last from uh, one to four weeks and then when the, a sprint starts they typically have a sprint planning meeting where they select some items in the product backlog and start working on these items. So they, they, they are putting these items in a so-called task board and they work with these items until the sprint is finished and then they have a sprint uh, review meeting at the end of the sprint where the team goes through all uh, the work that has been done in this specific sprint. So uh, basically in Scrum, uh, the project is divided into smaller parts called sprints. Uh, so here you see the project start and the project finished and then the entire project is divided into sprints. So then you have sprint one, sprint two, sprint three, etc. until the project is finished. And then we have this product backlog which is a list of all the requirements that should be implemented in the entire project from start to finished. But in each sprint, they just take some part of this product backlog, and this part is called the sprint backlog, and then they work with these items in the sprint. And in the beginning of the sprint, they have a sprint planning meeting where they pick out 
some of the parts of the product backlog and start working on these items. And when the sprint is finished, they have a sprint uh, review meeting where the team comes together and demonstrate the parts that has been done in that specific sprint. And when that sprint is finished, they have a new sprint planning meeting and then start on a new sprint, etc. So that's the whole process of working with um, sprints in Scrum. So one of the main tools used in Scrum and in each uh, sprint is the task board. So when a sprint starts, they pick out some elements from the product backlog that should be done in that specific sprint and put it in in this uh, column to do columns so and then here we have a um, you can call it sticky notes of all the tasks that should be uh, executed in that specific sprint and then the different um, developers start working on a specific task they just move it to the next column called in progress and then when they are finished with that work they just move it to the done column so um, when the sprint is finished, hopefully all the tasks have been moved from to do and then end up in the done uh, column. Typically this task board is um, updated on a regular or daily basis. And also it's important that each task has a task name, a responsible person and how many hours uh, typically the task should be, uh, how many hours the task should be uh, used to solve this specific task. So task name, responsible person and estimated hours. Also uh, during the sprint they have so-called daily scrum meetings. So uh, the team members, the development team come together typically early in the morning and stand in front of the task board where we have to do in progress and done. And they um, basically, each team member asks or uh, answer three uh, questions. What did you do yesterday? What shall you do today? And if you had any problems. So each of the team members just show uh, the task that has been done um, since the uh, last meeting and then say which tasks he should focus on um, until the next meeting. Basically, that's the daily Scrum meeting, which is an important part of the Scrum uh, method. So then let's uh, start it, uh, working with this Azure DevOps. So let's go to Azure DevOps and see how we can set up a project and start working with Azure DevOps. So uh, now we are here in my web browser, then I just search for Azure DevOps. Then I just click on this uh, link, then Azure DevOps, then here you can start for free, then I just select this one. And then I have already made a Microsoft account, so then I also made, uh, so now I have access to Azure DevOps and here I have different uh, projects that I have created earlier. But let's create a new project from start, so then typically you just create, click on this uh, link, create new project. But typically before you create a project, you need to create a new organization. So here on the left side, you have new organization. And then just click continue here. And then you need to sp uh, make um, or create a name of your organization. It could be anything, but it has to be a unique name. And then just click continue. So now I have already made a an organization, so I will use one of my existing organizations. And you can also create multiple organizations, and in each organization you can create multiple projects. But here, just select this um, organization. Uh, you, of course, need to make your own organization, and then here I have also some existing projects in that organization. But let's create a new project, so then just click New Project. Then you need to specify a project name. Um, I can call it Scrum Project or whatever. Find a proper name for your project. 
then a proper description and then you need to select private and here make sure that you select advanced here under version control you have only one option which is git but here in the work item process it's important that you select scrum if you not select scrum here you will not be able to use the scrum um, method in your uh, Azure DevOps project. So make sure to select advanced and work item process equal to Scrum. Then just click create and then the project will be created for you. Typically it takes a few seconds or even uh, more. So now your project is up and running. So this is the start page for your project. And then here on the left side you have the different features. You have boards, repositories, etc. So in this tutorial I will focus on this Scrum method and then you typically use this feature called boards where you have something called boards, backlog, sprints, uh, etc. But before we start using Scrum here in Azure DevOps, let's invite some members. So then you just go to the um, overview of your project and then you can click here on invite and then you can start enter either the name of that person or the email address and they will pop up here in list and then you can just select them and then add them to your project. Uh, also, when you add or invite members here, they typically become so-called stakeholders. That means they have only read access and access to some parts of your uh, Azure DevOps project. If you want the members to have full access, so-called administrator rights, you should typically go here under Azure DevOps, select organization settings, then go to users. And then here in this list, you should add users here. Just search for their name, select basic as access level, and then select, make sure that are connected to the right project. And then also check this one, send email invites, then the person will get an email that he has been added to this project as a full member. And just click add here. So basically now we are ready to start using uh, um, Scrum in your Azure DevOps project. So let's just dig into the project and start uh, look into some of the Scrum features. So then we select uh, boards here in the feature list on the left side in Azure DevOps and then we can start selecting um, uh, just using these work items and then click new work item and then you see the different types of work items that is part of uh, Azure DevOps. So here we have work item types of bug, feature, product backlog item, task, etc. Typically when you are want to report bugs, you use the work item called uh, bug. But since we are focused on Scrum in this tutorial, we will use this product backlog item and this task. Uh, and also this feature, which is a way of grouping the product backlog items. Uh, but let's start to create a the product backlog itself, then you just go to backlogs. And so uh, when you create a new project, this of, of course is empty, but then we just need to click here to create a new work item here. And then we need to create this uh, work item type product backlog item. And as uh, you remember, the product backlog itself is a list of features or requirements in your software. So basically it's the entire uh, list of features that should be developed as part of the project. So let's start creating some product backlog items, which is the items in the product backlog. So then we could create something, uh, assuming we are going to create a medical system or something, then you can say a product backlog item should be medical data should uh, be listed for all patients or something. And then you can just click uh, enter and then it will be added here in the product backlog. So then we can create multiple product backlog items here. So let's just create some, some more. Um, it, it should be possible to log in to the system or something. So now we have two product backlog items in the product backlog. 
I create once more, one more. Um, then patient patient uh, list should should um, have a search uh, box or something. Well, no, we have three uh, product backlog items in the product backlog. Typically, you have uh, you could have uh, hundred of different items here in the product backlog and each of them is a specific requirements that should be implemented in your software. So in addition to create uh, uh, here a new work item, a product backlog item here in this, here is a sh short way, here you just enter the title and then click enter and then it will be added here. But if you want to add more information regarding the different uh, product backlog items, you can click on them and then you will get a more detailed information regarding this product backlog item. So then you have the title, you can add a more specific description, you can add the different acceptance criteria, priority, uh, one, two, three, four, etc. You can add the uh, di discussion thread here, you can add a specific area which you can set up, I can show you later how you set up area and then you have this specific iteration and these different sprints. So then you have sprint 1, sprint 2, 3, 4, etc. And typically uh, the default is 1, 2, 3 but you can also specify your own names for this, these sprints and you can set a start date and an end date for these different sprints. Um, in addition to use this button you can also go to boards here and then select um, sorry, uh, go to work items I mean, then select this button, new work item, and then you get this list of different work uh, items, and then you also here can select product backlog item. If you select this one, this detailed uh, window pops up uh, immediately, and then you at least need to enter the title, typically you also want to make a enter a description, priority, etc. You can also, here in the backlog, you can also easily change the order. So now you have order one, two, three. Let's say this is on a higher priority, then you can just move it to the top, and then this one will get priority one. And assuming this one is low priority, and then I move it to the bottom, etc. But let's also see how we can uh, set up these um, areas and iterations. And then I go to the project setting here in the bottom, then select project configuration, and then you have the iterations here, and um, areas on the iteration is the same as sprints, so then you have by default sprint 1, 2, 3, etc. But then you can click on these three dots, click edit, and then here you can change the name if you prefer, and then you can select a start date for that sprint and an end date for that sprint. So then you can specify the different sprints that your project should be part of and specify start date and end date for each of those. So that's the iterations or sprints and we also have here areas. Typically you can use areas to divide your product backlog items into different categories and then you can have um, and then just click on the a new child here and then as then you could have a an area called applications or something and then under application you could have um, web app you could have uh, desktop app or whatever so then you get a, a way of organize your work in different applications or in different modules like this and then if you go back to the boards and then click off one of these uh, product backlog items then you will see here under area then you can select the same here so then assuming this patient list should be in this um, desktop app then you can select this one and then here you can also select the different sprints and it's just save and then you can do uh, the same for the others uh, etc. 
So now we have created some items in the product backlog uh, here. You can also if you go here on uh, this option, backlog items and features. So features can be used to group the different product backlog items. Um, so then you can create new work item here and then we'll create a work item type of type uh, fe feature and then typically you can have group it, uh, you can use it in different ways, but assuming you have a creating two system, a patient system and a doctor system. So then I select the create one patient system and then it will be added here and then I can create a doctor system or whatever and then I have two uh, features and then I have three uh, backlog items and then here I can also go to um, uh, the different options there click on this one then you have um, side pane then you pan you can then select mapping here um, and you also select parents to click on like this and then you see you have these um, features here on the right side and then you have the uh, product backlog items here then you can map this um, and let's say this medical data should be in the um, part of the doctor system feature and this this the patient list should have a search box should be part of the patient system and it should be possible to log into the system on the doctor system like this so now you have grouped your product backlog items into different features so then you have the doctor system consists of these two product backlog items and the patient system consists of th that specific um, product backlog item and then you can also use this plus and minus here to expand or collapse like this to see more or less information so now we have created the product backlog in Azure um, DevOps, which is an important part of Scrum. And the product backlog is a, should be a complete list of all the requirements that should be executed or developed as part of your software. So next now it's the development team are ready to start working on these product backlog items. So then you need to start on a new sprint. So then you go back to this project settings and project configuration and then we have this iteration so then we should start on sprint no, uh, number one then I can click on edit and then you can rename it if you want to but also specify a date start date today and assume this is um, so, so this is the start date and the end date of this basic sprint and then I can just save and close go back to boards and then go to sprints here and then you will see you have the so-called task board for this basic sprint. You can also select different sprints here, but now we are working in with the sprint one, which is the current uh, iteration. Then we have our product backlog items here to the left. And for each of those, uh, which we should work on with, within this specific um, sprint, we should create some tasks and then uh, medical data should be listed for all patients then we need to create some task and uh, basically tasks are uh, the work that need to be done to solve this specific uh, feature or requirements so then click plus here then we can create a task called um, uh, create patient class so these tasks are more on a development level while this is actual features or requirements for the system while these are how the developer can solve this specific uh, product backlog item so create patient class is needed um, create um, create uh, patient list um, form or something so now we have created two tasks to in order to um, solve this specific feature let's go to next the patient list should have a search box and um, we click on the plus in order to create a new task 
like um, we need of course uh, create a search class or something and then we can add more tasks here as well next it should be possible to log in then we no need to uh, create a login table or something create a login class etc so now we have selected the work that we are going to do in this specific uh, sprint and they are all put in the, the do column and then assuming i want to start working on these different uh, tasks then in addition you typically also should select it to a different to a specific person so this should be done by me this should be done by me and this here you can get a list here by just searching for that the different per persons that are part of your project so then this task has been assigned to me and then i can start working on these tasks so then uh, create a patient class then i'm going to implement that so then i put it in in progress column and then I go to Visual Studio, start working on that one. Uh, and when I'm finished with that one, I just put it in the DOM column. Next, I need to create the patient list form. Then I put it in progress. Go to Visual Studio and create that specific uh, form in my application. And uh, when I finished uh, with this one, uh, after a few hours or a day or something, I just put it in the DOM. And that's how we work. All the tasks should in be in, uh, in when the sprint starts should be here in to do uh, column. Then you just move it to the in progress and finally to the DOM. And then you can also move it all the way if necessary. So that's how we use uh, this task board in, in uh, Azure DevOps. And it's an important tool when you are working with uh, within different sprints in your Scrum. Uh, project so here now in the backlog uh, you can uh, get a structure list of uh, if I cl click on the plus sign you have the these symbols here uh, indicates the feature this blue one is the product backlog uh, items and then you have this yellow one is a specific task so then you have a, see this entire structure for for your product backlog we have two features and each of these features are divided into product backlog items and each of the product backlog items are divided into one or more tasks like this. And then we can use the plus sign um, to see either all um, the tree uh, structure or just some parts of it. You can also uh, on here on the left side we have this mapping if you click here. We can also instead of mapping we can select planning and then you see uh, you get a list of the different sprints here and then you can easily also put the different product backlog items into different sprints like this just by uh, drag and dropping and then you see this product backlog items is connected to sprint 2 this one is connected to as you see here sprint 1 and also you can see it here in this list if you want this one to be in sprint 4 you can just drag it like this and then you see this is connected to Sprint 4. You can also, uh, here on the top, you have the different columns. You can select column options and then you can specify which columns that you want to have in this product backlog uh, list. Like this. So basically, this is how you use Scrum in Azure DevOps. And the main parts is these work items, where you have different work items like uh, bug feature, product backlog item, task, etc. And in the work items view, you get to see all these items. While in the boards, um, and you only see uh, the types um, that are connected um, here in the backlog. So these are, here you see only the um, work items that are part of your backlog. So then typically you have you can use this feature if you want, um, but uh, the main part of the backlog is these product backlog items. So then you can also turn off to show either only these uh, product backlog items, or you can also uh, 
show the features if you want to. So then you can just select this option here, you can select the features to only see the features, and then you have the backlog uh, with the project backlog items, etc. And if you don't want to see the features, you can go to here to remove this parents option, and then you only see the product backlog items like this. And then you see the tasks that need to be done in order to, to implement this specific uh, product backlog item. And then finally we have the sprints. Um, in this view we have this, this um, task board where we have the different product backlog items and the different tasks that should be done in that specific uh, sprint and then you start by to do then move it to in progress and finally when you have done it you put it in the done column like this. So that's all uh, you need to do um, learn um, in order to use Scrum in your Azure DevOps uh, project. So that's all for now so thank you and goodbye.